and welcome back to my youtube channel or oh, hello if you're new here please stay around and subscribe it means the world to me so we have a makeup tutorial and i feel like i haven't done a makeup tutorial on youtube in a while so here we are so yeah if you follow me on instagram you'll know that i've recently created like my own challenge for myself really to just um create like more more work of black makeup artists this is something that i've wanted to do so yeah i just want to point out as well i know this is a challenge it's not like i'm gonna just stop after this challenge has ended i'm still gonna continue to like educate myself and yeah just be more aware and more educated on the horrible situation that is going on yeah i'll never understand fully but i'm trying my hardest and the last few days i've really tried just to like look more into the matter i've been watching so many films on netflix and i've obviously like been listening to other people's stories so yeah we have a makeup tutorial just to cheer us all up so the artist that I've chosen is Japan Slays. I'm also going to link all the um, makeup artists that I have been inspired by lately in the description. And obviously I'll leave the links to all like the petitions and everything that you can sign like I did done in my last video. But yeah, I just want to say as well, just remember to be kind to everyone. Like everything that's going on in the world right now. We don't need any more hate like we don't and social media has been a negative place at the moment and whilst it's good for us to see and recognize what is going on we need to be kind to other people as well and like the most important thing right now is unity i'm sending all my love to you right now and we're gonna have fun play with makeup and yeah hopefully you'll pick up some tips and tricks and yeah let's just crack on also make sure you give this video a thumbs up because and help a girl out you know so yeah let's crack on so i'm going to be starting off with mac strobe cream this is in gold light and i like to apply this with a brush so this is just an nyx foundation brush and i find if you apply it with a brush the glow kind of like sits on your skin instead of like rubbing it in because i find if you use your hands it's not um as like dewy as it can be so i like to use my foundation brush to apply this Okay, so this is the makeup look that I'm going to be recreating and sorry but look at that talent, oh, it's amazing. So yeah that's the look that we're going to do and I am so excited but honestly these artists I found recently on Instagram are just so like insanely talented and they've actually like put a lot of pressure on me to do their makeup looks because their works their work is literally just insane. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with an eyebrow pomade. This is just one by Revolution Pro in the shade Ebony. This is a MAC 266 brush. I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial on YouTube for a while, so bear with. I kind of don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm taking P. Louise Base in the shade Rumor Tool. It's literally like the best. And I'm just covering both sides of the Doll Beauty 11 brush, so just a nice little flat concealer brush. And I'm using this product to carve out my brows and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. And then I'm just pressing the product in, just so it's nice and tacky. So yeah, this artist, he's from Atlanta, Georgia. Is that America? I think it's America, but he's literally insane, like his work is amazing. So yeah, definitely check out all the links in the description because if you want some beauties to follow, these are amazing, like they're just insane. And then I'm just going to blend up the edges using a clean fluffy brush. I know what, sometimes I forget this stage and then when I finish my makeup I like you can see the lines because the product sets itself. It kind of like creates a mask so that's why it's always important to make sure you blend your edges. Okay so the palette I'm using is obviously the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro. They're actually bringing out a new palette, like another carnival palette. So I'm just so excited because this is literally all I use and I need, I need another palette I think because 
I think people are going to get bored of me using this all the time, but it's literally amazing. Like, it's the one palette that I always pick up for my makeup looks. So we're going to do a sunset blend. So I'm going to go in with the shade Reckless, and then I'm going to use this bright neon shade called Lit, and then Keen. So I'm taking the dark shade first on a small little crease brush. This is Morphe M507, and I'm kind of just pressing the product into um, the crease. Sorry for the lighting changes as well. Yeah, I'm literally sat in front of a window and sometimes the sun is out and sometimes it goes in the clouds, so please bear with. Yeah, I need some more inspiration on like video ideas, so please, if you have any like video ideas, then please let me know in the comments below because I need help. Like, I think I filmed so much through lockdown. I've kind of had a moment where I've kind of lost my inspiration, so please help me out by letting me know what videos you'd like to see. Okay, so I'm gonna stop um, just before like the end of my brow because um, on his look, he's kind of like cut it off a little bit. So I don't want to take my blend so far out just because it'll make it easier to like clean it up later. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Lit on a blank canvas E10 brush. And I'm just literally taking that above that purple shade. These three colours are literally like sunset heaven. They're so nice. And then I'm taking the shadow Keen on a MAC 2 to 1. And that is going to be our last blend. This yellow is insane. So pigmented. So now I'm literally just going to go back down the shadows just to make sure they're still there, they're still vibrant and been nice and blended. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more just because I don't really think you can see. Well, I can't see anyway because I've got my glasses on. But yeah, I'm gonna zoom you in slightly a bit more. Is that better? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> okay, so before I go any further, I'm just gonna cut the crease and clean up the lid space. And I'm gonna be using Vaseline. And I don't think I've used this like in a makeup tutorial on my channel but yeah it's just really nice to just get rid of like any shadow payoff because it's like oil based it just removes it so easily but the tip with Vaseline is not to use too much because it can bleed into your eyeshadow blend so I'm just taking this on a cotton bud and I'm going to start to cut my crease I always have like the Vaseline on one side and then this size is completely like for your product and that is what is going to be able to like take off the product so clean don't know if you can see but yeah when i first tried this technique i couldn't get a hang of it but it's literally just practicing with it and it has made like my cut creases so much easier okay so now i've cleaned up my lid with the vaseline and going in with the p louise base again on doll beauty brush and I'm literally just doing exactly the same as what I just done but with the base. So if you're thinking like why didn't you just do that straight away, it's because if you go straight over the shadows with a concealer, it's not that clean, like the colours kind of mix with the concealer. That's why the Vaseline trick like works a dream for cut creases. So yeah, I think I'm just going to show you how to do this eye and then I'm going to do the other eye off camera and come back. And then I'm just pressing it in again just to make sure it's nice and set, ready for eyeshadow. So I'm taking the shade Keen, which is that bright yellow. And that is going to be our inner corner blend. And then I'm taking the shade Pep Talk, which is just a nice neon Barbie pink. That's going in the centre. I'm just using like any clean fluffy brushes. Find with matte shadows, I used to always use like flat shadow brushes or like something like that but um with matte shadows it's really hard because if the more you pack it on the more they kind of crack so now i've learned to go in with like fluffy brushes then i'm going to take the shade wasted which is just my bright neon purple and don't worry like about blending them yet just get the shadows on and then go back and blend them after this outer corner not too worried about being messy because we're literally just going to cut it all out in a bit. So now I'm just going to start to blend these shadows together, just going back and forth the eyeshadows. So I'm taking the shade Reckless, which was the first eyeshadow blend, so the dark purple, and I'm just using this. 
to start to like smoke my lash line because he's kind of got like a black liquid line and then it blends nice and smoky on the edges. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of the black from the palette. This is so pigmented so if you do use this please be careful because <laughs> it can get messy. Okay, so I'm just taking a liquid liner. This is the Maybelline Matte Ink. And I'm just literally just gonna line my lash line. I always find like if you're doing eyeliner on yourself, make sure you like stretch your, um, your eyes up just so you don't have like any of like the crinkles. You want a nice flat space to do your liner. And then I'm taking a little bit more of the black shadow and I'm just blending the edge of that line. So here's the scary part. Okay, so I'm going to take Vaseline again. But I'm actually going to go in with like a cut crease brush. This is the P. Louise Acid Rain. And I'm just using this just so I got a bit more control because I don't think I'll be able to get control with the cotton bud. He is kind of... I'm going to start from here. So it's kind of like a half circle. I'm trying my best to do it the same as what he done, but this man is just insanely talented, I can't cope. <laughs> so I've just placed that Vaseline where I want to like cut it, and then I'm taking a dry cotton bud, and I'm hoping this is going to like remove it nicely. So, it's looking a bit wacky, but it'll get there. <laughs> so I'm just going to take some more of the Peelie's base on the Doll Beauty brush. I'm literally just going to fill in that space that I just cut. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a nice clean fluffy brush. So before I go in with the liner detail, I'm just going to do my under eye shadow quickly. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same like sunset blend underneath my eye but I'm just going to use um, more like small detail brushes. This is the Doll Beauty DB15. If you haven't tried the Doll Beauty brushes and you want to like invest in a nice brush set, they honestly are so, so good. Then I'm taking a pencil brush with the bright orange shade. And then lastly, I'm taking the yellow. And that's going underneath. Okay. What are we thinking so far? Okay, so he's actually used, it looks like, like a pale yellow liner. I don't really have a colour like that, so I'm going to use Limelight by P. Louise. It's literally like the best. It, they need to come back and restock this because I think it's limited, yeah, it's limited edition. And I don't think she sells it anymore, but it's amazing. So I'm going to go in with this. So I'm just going to create like a liner effect. Um, where we cut the crease. I am thinking now I should have really like cut the crease with the line light and then cut it out again with the base but never mind. <laughs> okay and then I'm just gonna take line light on a smaller like paint brush and I'm literally just gonna um, create like a liner by my crease. With like detail work, I find it's really important to just take your time instead of like doing one line. Always do it in sections. Don't know where this focus in. Okay, so that is what we're looking like. And then I'm just going to put some of this in my waterline. Okay, so I've just done the other eye off camera. Now I'm going to be popping some eyelashes on. These are the Trigwell Cosmetics Eyelashes in Harmony. And they're literally like one of my favourites at the moment. You can actually get a 10% off using the Daria 10. So yeah, if you haven't tried these, you definitely need to. They're lush. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the strip and then leave it to dry for a few seconds. How lush are they? Oh, love them. So, I'm going to quickly do my face. I'm not going to do it on camera because obviously this eye makeup would talk a while and I don't want this video to be hella long. So, I'm going to do my face makeup and then I will be back. Okay, so this is the finished makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it because 
I was kind of a bit scared to film a makeup tutorial because I've done one in like forever. But yeah, I think we've done okay. What do you think? Let me know down below. I'll leave the link to Japan Slave Instagram down below as well as all the other lovely makeup artists I've recently discovered. Also, um, all like the links for petitions will still be in my description box. So make sure you check that out and yeah, remember to be kind, be positive. You're all beautiful, sending so much love to you. But um, yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.